Good afternoon, everybody. We are back with the uh, Toyota Revo. And uh, in this video, we're just going to show you how to adjust the idle speed. Now, I've just had some major work done on the engine. And when I got it back, it was idling at fairly low revs um, to the point that the, the car shakes a bit. And I think uh, the um, uh, the idle speed needs to be adjusted. So we're going to be focusing on this area here. This is the throttle body. And essentially, this lever here rocks um, as the throttle or accelerator pedal is pushed. This cable uh, through this lever pulls this lever back. And what that does, it opens up a valve inside here. Uh, which then allows air to come through, uh, or more air, I should say, uh, in response to pushing the pedal down, which makes the revs go up. And what's happened here is I think there's been a bit of an adjustment and we need, uh, we basically need this to be open a little bit more. And how you do it is through this little piece of equipment here. So I'm just gonna show you now how to do that. This, this unit is actually composed of a, uh, a of a, of a screw that goes um, down through this uh, nut and underneath as that screw goes up and down it it holds this lever in a certain position now I want the lever to be coming this way very slightly that's an exaggerated move actually it's, we just need minute movements so what we need to do is essentially loosen this eight millimeter nut so that we can put an allen key down in the middle here and move the position of that screw up and down. We'll show you how to do that now. So I've got my eight millimeter wrench here. Place that over the top. I'm just going to loosen it off. Now I've already loosened it for you just to make it a little bit easier. And what this does now is it allows you to move the screw up and down. And the up and down movement of the screw is brought to us by this uh, Allen key, um, which is a two and a half millimeter Allen key. Now, as I screw that, you can actually just, I'm just gonna make it go a little too far. So you can just see the movement of the lever already. And if I unscrew it, I'm unscrewing the lever back like so. And what you can actually do, I can turn the engine on and you can even hear the revs and you can adjust it accordingly. Okay, so with the engine on, as I tighten this, you can hear the revs going up higher and higher. And as I turn it anti-clockwise, it's settling down again. So you can use this to adjust the speed you want and obviously check that off with your rev counter. For my car, we need it around about 800 revs per minute. So I'm just going to adjust it and have a look. Okay, so we're right on the money with that speed there. And it's just a case of tightening this knot around the outside. Um, and keeping that all in place there. And we're done.